Hello, in this video we're going to look at labor supply and fixed costs of working. So we're going to start when there are no fixed costs to working. Here is the person's utility function, it's a function of C, dollars of consumption, utility is also a function of L, hours of leisure. We're going to define H as hours of work. There are 24 hours in a day to allocate between leisure and hours of work. So therefore 24 equals L plus H or hours of work equals 24 minus hours of leisure. The person's wage is $10 and the person has non-labor income V equal to $100 per day. And we have a constraint here. So consumption equals the wage times hours of work plus non-labor income. For W I'm going to substitute in the wage of $10 and for V, non-labor income, that's 100. And then also for H here, now I'm going to substitute in 24 minus L, 24 hours minus hours of leisure. And we're going to simplify this. Simplifying some more, we have our constraint. Next, we're going to get the marginal utility consumption, which is just L, partial derivative of the utility function with respect to consumption, gives us L. And the marginal utility of leisure gives us back C forming the utility maximizing condition where the marginal rate of substitution equals wage. Marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of consumption. So C divided by L equals 10. And now we're going to solve this expression for C multiplying both sides through by L. C equals 10 L. So basically we're going to have two equations and two unknowns. We got two C equations so we're just going to set them equal to one another. So here's our two C equations, setting them equal to one another, and now solving for leisure, hours of leisure. Dividing through by 20, hours of leisure equals 17, and since there's 24 hours in a day, 24 minus 17 hours of leisure means there is 7 hours for work. The level of consumption here, just evaluate our consumption function when L equals 17 is one way to get that. Uh, the person will be able to afford $170 worth of goods and services. And the person's utility at this level, utility is C times L, 170 times hours of leisure, gives us the following, 2890 Now notice if the person didn't work, they'd be at their endowment point, which is 24 hours of leisure, and their consumption would just equal their non-labor income of $100. So utility at the endowment point here would be 2400 So the person does get more utility by working than not working. Now let's incorporate fixed cost. Let's have fixed cost of working equal to $20 a day. This could be from parking, travel costs, dry cleaning, business attire that needs to be purchased, maybe licensing fees, child care, so on. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our consumption function and we're going to subtract out the fixed cost. So this is the minus 20 represents this fixed cost of working. So simplifying that, this is our new consumption function. And we're going to just set it equal to this 10L. Solving for L here. Hours of leisure is 16. Hours, hours of work equals 8. So this fixed cost caused hours of work to rise. There's an income effect here. This reduction in income due to this fixed cost of $20 led to a decrease in the demand for leisure, less leisure, more work. The level of consumption here uh, at 16 hours of leisure or 8 hours of work is going to be $160. And that will give this person a utility of 2560 So this utility here of working, even with fixed cost of $20, exceeds the utility of not working. All right, a last example here. We got fixed costs of $40, so fixed costs are a little bit higher in this example. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our function and subtract out the fixed cost here of $40, simplifying that. And as before, we're going to set the two C equations equal to one another and solve for L. So hours of leisure is 15, implying hours of work is 9. The consumption at 15 hours of leisure or 9 hours of work is $150 this person will be able to afford. And the utility here 
is 2,250. So notice, however, that the utility of not working, which we saw for earlier, was 2,400, which is greater than the utility of working with a fixed cost of $40. So in this case, the person will not work. So if the fixed costs of working get too large, the person may drop out of the labor market. Hours of work in this case fall to zero. All right, that's it.